Mark, thank you so much for joining the Leaders Live event today. I'm really interested to know what, what was the standout thing for you in terms of the discussion? I think there were, there were two things. I think one's really positive. I think there was really deep consensus that hydrogen is not just a molecule, it's a system technology. We all came at it from different angles. We were all very sort of cognizant of the idea that hydrogen plays into the economy, the idea of a sustainable economy, a sustainable society. So I think there was really deep consensus about hydrogen as a system technology and that it's valuable and there's lots of opportunities. I think the second thing, um, and this probably comes through in some of the external stuff and some of the questions, is when we talk about hydrogen commonly, it still transitions to the very familiar. So people want to think about what does a hydrogen car look like? And actually it might not be hydrogen cars and they might not see hydrogen in the way they think about it. It's gonna be an important part of society in the way that oil and gas is, but most people don't think about refineries when they think about oil and gas, they think about what goes into their boiler. So I think there's, there's two things, positive system, got to fix the whole system. Um, but the negative is, I think, is still that people are gravitating towards the familiar, which is probably not where the real change A will happen and B needs to happen. I guess taking the point of the audience, we, we always like to ask them polling questions. So we ran some polls today, as you know. Was there anything from the polling outcomes, perhaps from the audience, that surprised you or you, you, know, you, you sort of saw differently? I, th I think people see problems, whereas if you're working in this space, you see opportunities. So I think the, the question about um, will, there, will there be an, uh, enough green hydrogen? Well, most people either didn't know or thought no. And it's probably, again, because they're not necessarily connecting the size of the opportunity. And when there is real opportunity, politicians and corporate leaders bring money and policy to bear. So I'm, I'm more relaxed about some of the things that I think the public are, are worried about. So going on from this event then, where, what, what really needs to happen next, in your opinion, to, to really move hydrogen on? I think there are, there, is, there are some areas where hydrogen already makes sense today. If you, if you look at uh, decarbonisation of steel, for example, there's, there's huge will and a recognition that that's already a good economic thing to do. And you can see huge progress in places like Sweden with SSAB. So there's lots of proof points where it's happening. You can also see it uh, in companies like CF Fertilizers. There's lots of news flow. So I think first thing to recognize is there is already a lot of stuff happening. It's not very visible to people, which comes back to that earlier point, but it's, it is happening. The next thing uh, needs to happen is we really need to start valuing the cost of the alternatives. Um, we talk about hydrogen being expensive, but actually when Florida's underwater because of global warming, that's also going to be quite expensive. And no one's quite ready to value some of that stuff yet. And that needs to happen quite quickly. Mark Selby from Ceres, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.